Students are back in class at the University of Alabama. Dr. Stuart Bell begins his eighth year as president of the state's flagship university. I went in depth with Dr. Bell about the school's growing enrollment, the challenging past year, which saw the school's athletic department facing a pair of controversial headlines, and also just what he thinks about the social media craze that is Bama Rush. The University of Alabama is growing. Its president, Dr. Stuart Bell, expects the class of 2027 to be the largest in school history. And the demand for the University of Alabama product has never been higher. Total enrollment could surpass 40,000 students this fall, which raises the question, how much bigger does the school plan to get? I think parts of our enrollment will go. We may see graduate enrollment bump up, a, continue to bump up a little bit. We're not exactly where we we think we have we have more capacity there. I think at the undergraduate level, um, we're reaching uh, we're reaching a capacity number. The university has students from all 50 states. So what's the appeal? Bell first mentioned academics, but admits for others it's something else. There's so much more to going to college, and and some of us can kind of remember. It's this Alabama experience that they want to be a part of, and I do not see it subsiding. In June, the school announced a 3% increase for out-of-state tuition, which makes up half the student population. The board froze in-state tuition, which remains just under $12,000. I asked Bell, would the price stay there, given the school's record growth and the impact of inflation? As president, I do not like increasing tuition, right? It, it does not serve our families well. Do we get into situations, inflationary costs, where things would occur? Maybe so, but we'll work really hard to continue to make tuition affordable to Alabamians. Inflation is having a more immediate impact elsewhere. The plan to renovate Coleman Coliseum is on hold for now. Costs for almost doing anything have, uh, have d just like other inflationary costs. So as we grapple and understand sort of what that looks like, but the support among our fan base, the support among our donors has never been stronger. So it is an exciting project. Athletics, long a source of pride, brought the university two major negative headlines last year. Most recently, the school fired its baseball coach for his reported role in a betting scandal. Dr. Bell was also involved in the decision to allow star basketball player Brandon Miller to play last year after learning about his role in delivering a gun to a teammate, which resulted in murder charges and a dead mother. And certainly if, if you take a look at any of those things that happened, we, um, we reacted very quickly, made changes uh, to how we address safety on our campus. The University of Alabama partnered with Tuscaloosa Police to create a substation on the Strip. Um, understand, are we going to have challenges this year? Absolutely, we're going to have challenges. Some of those challenges will be easy. We'll address them. Some of the challenges will be longer term, just like um, we have with, uh, with a construction project. But we will make sure that we stay on point. Dr. Bell addressed the students who will take part in perhaps the school's biggest event outside of football, Bama Rush, the annual event which he argues as a whole is a benefit to the school. I do not know how much caffeine had been consumed just prior to that, but literally the vibration of excitement that was in there. How can that not be a positive thing for their educational and their experience that they're going to have? And what is Stewart's message to the class of 2027? Simple. Go to class, do your homework, study for your tests, all right, and then get involved. Get involved on our campus and then you'll get that thing of Alabama experience. Now, Dr. Bell also discussed conference realignment and whether the SEC could soon be adding more teams. He told us and insisted that the conference is happy with the 16 members they will have in 2024 when Texas and Oklahoma officially arrived to the SEC. He described the movement this summer and all of the reaction as reaction to the SEC's expansion, not a reason to make any more moves.